What's up, y'all? This is Harley the Zombie Whirly. I haven't done it in the bag in a while. Last I did was probably, gosh, April, May. So I've gone from a completely different bag than what I started with. Uh, I started with some Innova, some Discraft, and a little bit of Prodigy from this beginning year to now to having a complete set of Prodigy. If you want, you can keep track. I, I lose track of how many discs I got. Alright, we're going to start with putters. My main putter, my baby, just got this actually dyed not too long ago. My PA2, got it to match one of my tattoos. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing disc. Uh, it's the only putter I can really use anymore. I used to putt with a polecat. I cannot putt with PA4 anymore. I just can't get the consistency like I used to. Uh, this is my, my go-to putter. I have a backup PA2 for upshots. Don't use this one all that much unless it's a longer shot that I can give it a little bit of anhydra and let it come back. My main upshot putter is my PA1. Sometimes we use this off the tee for about, uh, I'd say 300. 350 just for nice long letting it just glide and have a nice long fade. Now, I just recently got this yesterday actually. It's a PA4 170. I haven't really gotten to experiment too much with it. I threw it on a couple holes, put it with it a few times. It uh, almost aced it first first throw off the tee pad. It's about a 350 shot and went right underneath the basket. Moving to the mid ranges. Got a lot of mid ranges. Start with M1. It was my first Prodigy Ace. I have it hanging up on my wall. Uh, very overstable. It's an amazing overstable disc. I don't use it as much anymore. Actually, I use my M2s. Uh, I got the mini stamp M2. I use this disc so much. I'm surprised it's not as beat as it should be. This will just glide for days and days. I have a yeah, first run in the Proto M2s. I don't use them all that much anymore since I got that mini stamp and. I played with it the first day, just played with that, and ended up being six down, so I relied on that more than I relied on any of my others. Uh, the M3, don't really throw it all that much. It's a great straight disc. It'll fly 400 feet easy, perfectly straight. Just a little bit of anhyzer, it'll, it'll just catch and just glide. Amazing for straight to a little bit to the left shots. If you're an anhyzer thrower, or a buzz thrower, you'll love the M4s. I just traded my red M4 for this yellow one with a buddy of mine at the park. This is actually a lot more stable than my red one was. It'll actually come out of it. My red one would just hold that line and just keep on going. It was great for that. And we got the mini stamp M4. This thing is I one of our holes at Wickham Park here is an easy 375 and I can't see it there's a bush in the way and nine out of ten throws I'll park this thing underneath that underneath that basket every time moving to the fairway drivers I got three F1s this one's more of my show disc I throw it every now and then I just don't like the clear plastic I don't want to lose it or anything it's my first paid for one or not, everything else I purchased from others off Facebook. My personal favorite F1, it's a 158 X out, but is as stable as a regular F1. It's freaking amazing. I use this for huge spike hyzers, monster spike hyzers. I love my spikes, and this is the go to disc I have for it. If I have something that 
um, it's very wooded and there's very small gaps in trees I will pull this out this thing I don't know how it does it it finds every single gap nine out of ten times it's amazing best best parking disc I have for wooded areas I don't have an F2 I actually just purchased one so I'm waiting for that and my F3 I sold to a buddy of mine so I had to regain an F3 but I got the F7s I got the F7 300 series I don't like it personally I threw it once hit a tree and it broke in way too easy now it's all it is is a roller and I don't like rollers um, the F7 the 400G amazing uh, I just bought one for my fiance, or I'm sorry, I just bought one for my wife. Uh, she loves it. Great beginner disc for anybody. My little sister loves it. It's amazing. Moving on to the drivers. I got three D1s. My personal favorite D1s. Uh, I got the Huck Lab. Used to use it a lot, broke it in a little bit, so it flips a little more than I like. I have the D1 that I use for spike hyzers that I don't care if I lose it. It's not one of my favorite discs, but if I lose it, I lose it. I lost it a couple times, and I've ended up getting it back somehow. But I got my personal favorite D1. I will use this for everything. My name is actually, all my ink on here is actually fading from using this thing so much. Uh, Kim Tyson did the die for me, custom die. She's an amazing dyer if you're looking for a dyer. Also, Mike, I can't pronounce your last name, not gonna butcher it on Facebook, he did my jack. I use this thing for flicking anything. Beautiful spike hyzer disc. I have two, F or two D2s, custom dyed. Also by Kim. And I don't use these all that much. They replace my bosses. I never threw my boss all that much. But at least I know I have something here if I need it for over the water. So if I lose it, it's not that big of a deal. I have four D3s. My second personal favorite disc. I got the Golf is Dead. Beautiful straight shot. This thing will just flip up and glide perfectly straight forever. I actually just traded a D4 for this D3 here. And kid I traded for, he's pissed that I can throw it ten times better than he can. Uh, I mean the D3s, this is my flippy D3. Uh, I can throw this and it'll fly just like a D4. It's first run, 169. I think that's the only reason why it's so, it's so light. My discs are normally 170s, almost Max weights. Just got this from Double G and Brooke. It's an absolutely amazing. My first team stamp, which I finally complete pretty much all my stamps. Amazing. Flip over just a little bit, hold that line, and come crashing down. Got my longest throw with this. I got 550 feet with it. Freaking bombing disc. I have two D4s. I got the bar stamp. This is very, very stable D4 for me. Absolutely love it. And my distance D4, Wonder Nut. Absolutely great for 400 foot shots. Absolutely amazing. I just purchased D5, waiting for my other one in the mail. And I actually just got this one. The other day, this is a great, great disc uh, for beginners or for long anhyzers. Used it a couple times. I actually hit a tree and parked a hole somehow. I don't understand how I did that. Absolutely, absolutely great flipping disc. If that's what you, I'm not into it. I'm in, I used it once for a spike anhyzer up over trees. If it wouldn't have hit a tree. At the end of the flight, it would have parked the basket. Just purchased this yesterday, like I said. Um, and I was out using it during my round. 
ended up smashing into chains and it underneath the basket. I was so upset. It crushed my day. Just so close to having another ace up on the wall, but this one's actually really, really overstable. I mean, it's a great disc if you like the overstable, but it, that's my only concern with it is how overstable. It will not flip over no matter how I throw it, no matter what I do. It just will not throw when I throw it with the hyzer like I normally do. It will not come over. It'll stay flat. It'll it'll attempt, but it just will not get that full flip onto it. Other than that, in my bag, I just carry around like a little mini stash for some money. Always got my knife on me. Just don't trust people in a park. Got my Sharpie, some loose change. Got my dynamite towel. Absolutely love these fiber towels. Um, got my hookah. And my mini. Other than that, pretty much everything in my bag. I throw strictly Prodigy. It's how I, I can't really throw anything else anymore. I've got my best rounds with this stuff. Prodigy really has outdone themselves. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave, some, leave me some comments. Or go onto my Facebook. Look me up. Harley Zombie. Z-O-M-B-E-E. -E, Whirly. And hope to hear from you. I answer any questions possible. Feel free to ask away of anything, what you've seen here, or just anything in general. Next time I'm out at the park that my wife's with me, I'll have her do some video of me throwing everything, like my vet last video I have on YouTube. And I'll throw everything so that you can see how it should fly. I'm not the best thrower, but... I know how all my discs fly. So, thank you for watching. Go out and play. Encourage your friends. And have some fun.